What's up and happy Halloween, everybody. Kimberly J. Brown here, coming to you straight out of Halloween Town. Well, sort of but I thought this was an appropriate shirt to wear today. Um, if you guys follow me on social media over this past month, I have been dedicating my Throwback Thursdays to Halloween and Halloween Town themed photos for the uh, spooky feeling of the season. And I thought today being Halloween on a Thursday, why don't we do a Throwback Thursday? It is a slightly different kind of thing, something special. Um, over the years, probably the most off-asked question I've gotten on social media is about the famed Halloween Town book, which is seen, I think, primarily in the first one. Correct me if I'm wrong, fans. <laughs> um, but the book is very special to the movie and very special to me because, uh, yes, I do have a copy of it. It's not the same exact one that was used on camera, but the producers were nice enough to gift me one when we were finished shooting. So I thought for today, we would have a little story time. So please help me welcome the Halloween Town book. There it is, guys. I have kept this like sealed for years because it's been 21 years, 21 years ago, you guys. Um, so I'm bringing it out today to do a little story time for Halloween. Um, here's the beautiful cover. Uh, this drawing of Halloween Town is based off the real life town in St. Helens, Oregon, that actually does have a city hall that looks like that. Uh, does not have a jack-o'-lantern all year round, but they actually put one back up in October now every year, and they celebrate the movie and call it the Spirit of Halloween Town Festival in homage to the movie, which is so cool. Um, I actually went back to the town a few years ago, and the first time I showed up to celebrate with them, I think they said over 15,000 people showed up. It was amazing. Uh, we had quite the party. Um, so this is, this is Halloween Town. Uh, so now we're going to open the book. Um, this is actually the first page of the script of Halloween Town, which I had some of the cast members sign. So I, I put it in there um, as sort of a memento, some notes from Disney Channel and the producers. Um, our amazing Halloween Town logo. Then on the next page is the first uh, page you guys see in the movie of the full uh, drawing of Halloween Town. And this building is actually there in the real life town. Um, and oops, the next page here we have good old snot man as uh, Sophie points him out. The werewolf um, who works in the salon in town, um, given a good old haircut. And you know, you guys have asked over the years, the um, hair dryer in the salon, actually when I filmed with it, actually had real flames coming out. It was, it was a pretty toasty shooting day. Um, so these next few pages within the book are some stories of sorcery, and I, I don't know that they are a real story. They kind of filled it in here with some different drawings and, and stuff like that, just to kind of have some filler pages in the middle of the book, but we never really reference any of these. Um, and then comes probably my favorite page of the book. Um, the one of Marnie on the broom. I mean, can you blame me? This is the drawing that Marnie sees that uh, she kind of starts to realize maybe there's more to this town. And before we uh, film started production on the movie, they asked me to send in a photo and they had an artist uh, draw this to my likeness. And I think they did a pretty darn good job. Um, and fun fact, actually, there's a poster version of this drawing in Halloween Town High on Marnie's wall in her room. And um, I got to keep that after we fin finished shooting. So I have that framed now and I really, really love it. I would also love the ability to fly on a broom in real life, but I digress. Um, so that is the last page. And then these pages in the back, I taped some more notes from our lovely cast and crew um, when we were done shooting. But uh, there you have it. There is the Halloween Town book. Um, so thank you for watching this little story time with me. Uh, thank you guys so much for all of your love and messages and everything over the years for the movies. It's just incredible that you guys still love watching it and wanna talk about it. I'm so appreciative and so honored. And I'm wishing you the happiest, happiest Halloween ever. Because you know what? Halloween is cool. <laughs>